the great mother bursts on the world of men in her overwhelming wholeness and perfection. Yes, goddesses were the first divine humans knew before they knew anything else. Good afternoon, good evening. I'm Sujata Tabrewala. And today I'm going to talk about my painting, Goddesses. In a world where humans knew only goddesses, everything connected to her was considered auspicious. Her feminine body, her curves, and even the menstrual blood, which is connected to the color red, which is actually considered auspicious in many cultures, including the culture India where I come from. No formal worship, no wedding is considered complete without the color red. In Egypt, they used to mix the menstrual blood with the soil to make the crops flourish. So as far back as 23,000 BCE, Venus of Wildorf was found in Australia. The real women who have been mothers and who have lived their life. Then we come to Sheila Nogeg from 12th century England, also found in Ireland, Great Britain, France, and Spain. Then of course, we have the Mohanjadaro dancing girl, 23,000 to 17,500 BC. The goddesses represented more than fertility and love. Math from Egypt to Athena Demeter and Isis from Greece and France, Kali from India and Ishtar from Babylonia. They represent all human qualities, generation, destruction, peace, war, love, hatred, health and disease. The world of goddesses was very different from the world of God, black and white. God or devil? Much like the world of humans, the gods of the goddesses era had all the shades of human character between black and white, a rainbow of colors to make their world rich and deep. And as we know today, idealism does more harm than good because it is, it is when we give ourselves permission to be imperfect is when we can live our life to the fullest and enjoy it too. Thank you.